murakoze cyambere nishimiye ko tubonye uno mwanya wo kuganira muri iminsi ishize muri aya meza ashize habaye ibikorwa byinshi byiza byingira kamaro mu rwego rw'ubanye n'amahanga icyo na vuga wenda cyumwe hari ko nuko uno mwaka u Rwanda rufite inshingano zikomeye ku mugabane wa Afrika no kuyobora umuryango wa Afrika yunze ubumwe uh, tukaba turimo no kwitegura mu gihe cy'icyumweru kimwe uh, inama y'abakuru b'ibihugu ba Afrika idasanzwe uh, ndaza ku kubibabwira ho mukanya uh, ikindi nuko uh, no mu gihugu cyacu imbere mu gihugu aba ibikorwa byinshi tuvuye mu mwiherero w'abayobozi um mu gihugu cyacu hari byinshi bimaze igihe bikorwa byiza hari nutubazo tumwe tumwe twagiye tugaragara muri iminsi tukinakomeza nk'ibibazo by'impunzi dufite muri iki gihugu tukaba icyo tu tugamije ari gukomeza guteza imbere abanyarwanda n'igihugu cyacu ari mu mugabane wa Afrika ndetse no hirya no hino kwisi ibyo byose namakuru meza kandi dukwiye gusangira no kwishimira nkaba rero ashimishijwe n'uyu mwanya tubonye wo kuganira dufite sahimwe turagerageza byose kubisangira um mushobora kubaza ibibazo mu rurimi mwumva nange numva hanyuma dufate isaha tuganire nagira ngo mbanzirize kwihanganisha abanyarwanda imiryango yabuze ababo bazize inkuba abanyarwanda abageze kuri 17 uh, guverinoma y'u Rwanda ya yarabatabaye mwarabikurikiye uh, uh, ni kintu gitaya gahinda ariko ni no kureba uburyo uh, muri ibi bihe bigenda bikomeza guhinduka bijyanye n'imvura uh, bijyanye n'imiyaga ikomeye nibindi uh, dukomeza gufasha abanyarwanda uh, kwirinda ndetse no kumenya aho bugama neza kugira ngo be kugira ibibazo bijyanye n'ibi bihe turimo cyane cyane ibihe by'imvura biri hafi kindi na kwibutsa twese tuzi nuko tugiye kwinjira mu gihe cyo kicyunamo ndetse tukaba tugiye gutangira kwitegura icyunamo cyo kwibuka ku inshuro ya 25 mu mwaka utaha azaba ari gihe gikomeye cyane imyaka 25 ifite ikisobanuye ibyo byose rero biri mu bikorwa biri imbere nkaba nagira ngo nongere mbashimire uyu mwanya tugiye kuganira ijambo ni ryanyu Last year, we've been hearing stories of refugees from Israel, migrants. Mm -hmm. I want to get an update how far have gone uh, the discussions. Mm -hmm. Have you reached any agreement so far? Mm -hmm. yes. uh, we have had the opportunity to talk about um, the uh, migrants uh, that um, the state of Israel has asked um, Rwanda to to receive. Um, as you know, this is uh, part of our uh, policy on refugees, migrants, asylum seekers. Um, we've, we've also, um, as a government, uh, put out some statements explaining exactly what um, the, the, the story is all about. We have um, uh, told the State of Israel that our country as part of its policy is ready to receive any African migrant um, 
uh, that would be uh, leaving Israel um, in the context of international law. Um, we also have agreed that um, we will provide as a country the basics that we provide to our own citizens is the same for um, uh, refugees and, and uh, other foreign nationals coming to Rwanda. Uh, we have yet to um, uh, get a, a, a number of uh, those migrants to, to arrive here in Rwanda. Um, but we are ready, we've, we've been ready, that policy is not going to change. Uh, to receive anybody who is in trouble, who is uh, um, not comfortable for, for various reasons, and all this, of course, within the means of our, of our country, we're, we're not uh, pretending to be able to receive the whole world here, but it's, it's something we're considering. Same for the migrants that, um, um, uh, are in Libya uh, under extremely, extremely um, horrendous conditions, including uh, being sold on markets and, and uh, being mistreated. Uh, on on uh, the migrants in Libya, we, we are still uh, waiting to uh, reach an agreement within the context of the African Union which is collaborating with the International Organization on Migrations to figure out what uh, type of uh, migrants um, and their identification, the numbers that would be coming to Rwanda, but that should be in the next, uh, say, several weeks. Because <laughs> mwagiye mu bikurikirana ndetse muna bivugaho mu byandikaho hagati y'igihugu cy'abaturanyi n'abavandimwe ba Uganda n'u Rwanda haba ibibazo byagiye bigaragara cyo navuga nuko ibyo bibazo byaturutse ku gihugu cy'a Uganda aho abanyarwanda benshi bahagiriye akaga bamwe barafungwa abandi ndetse uh, bakorerwa ba ibikorwa bitari byiza ku muntu muri rusange uretse no kuba ari abaturanyi n'abavandimwe uh, bamwe barafunguwe abandi baracyafunze uh, icyo nabivugaho nuko cyambere hano mu Rwanda ntabwo uh, dushobora uh, kugirira nabi abagande bagande ni bene wacu Nabavandi mwe bacu dusangiye byinshi dusangiye amateka dusangiye n'amaraso abagande benshi dufitanye isano kuri twebwe rero nk'u Rwanda no mu muco wacu w'abanyarwanda ni kintu gikomeye cyane yo ibibazo nk'ibyo bibaye nk'ibihugu icyo umuntu agerageza gukora no kugerageza kwegera ubuyobozi tukareba ko ibyo bibazo byakemuka uh, nyakuba president wa republika ya fasha umwanya wo kubonana na mugenzi we president wa republika ya Uganda igihe twari mu nama uh, y'abakuru b'ibihugu bya Afrika mu mu gihugu cy'a Ethiopia mu mpera y'ukwezi kwa mbere babiganiraho um, icyo twifuza nuko um, ibyo bibazo byahagarara kuko nta mpamvu ihari ifatika yatuma abanyarwanda bafatwa nabi ku buryo twabonye uh, mu gihugu cya Uganda ariko bibaho hari ubwo ibihugu bigirana ibibazo ikibabaje nuko twebwe nk'u Rwanda nti twigeze twumva impamvu uh, cyane ko kuri twebwe umubano wacu na Uganda ari kintu gikomeye cyane ni gihango ntabwo nari mwe twakwifuza ko hari umuturage w'igihugu cya Uganda wagira ikibazo hano mu Rwanda kandi 
byagiye bigaragara uko abagande bafashwe muri iki gihugu ni kimwe nuko abanyarwanda babayeho ariko nibaza ko nta kibazo cyananirana cyane hagati y'ibigo byacu byombi no gukomeza kugerageza kuganira no no kubyumvikana ku mishinga rero iduhuza muri aka karere cyane cyane ka kumuhora wa ruguru northern corridor hari mishinga yidindira ariko hari nibindi byagiye bigenda neza cyane cyane kudindira byagiye bituruka ku uh, kuri um, ibikorwa bya politiki biri mu bihugu bya Northern Corridor hashize igihe um, amatora yabanje mu gihugu cya Uganda kurikiraho mu gihugu cya Kenya igihugu cya South Sudan Sudan ya Majepfo cyagize ibibazo mwese muzi bimaze igihe cy'amakimbirane n'intambara habayemo koko uh, kudindira uh, ariko sinzi ko uh, icyango mga no gushake bw'ibihugu kugira ngo tusubire aho twari turi twihutishe ibi bikorwa kuko mu byukuri abaturage bacu bibugu byacu barabikeneye kandi nibo tubikorera keretse tubuze ko abaturage bacu tutakibitayeho tutifuza yuko batera imbere ariko icyo nakwemeza mvugira igihugu cyanjye ari cy'urwanda nuko nta kigeze gihinduka ku kifuzo cyo gukora ibintu bifatika hano mu karere kacu ku nyungu z'abaturage bacu na n'abaturage babaturanye uh, implemented uh, z- uh, 0.2% levy yes. on imports uh, towards funding the AU. Uh, I'd like to know if there's any update up to now. Um, South African, uh, Southern African countries have not responded positively, uh, particularly they say Zuma was standing in the road, but are we seeing any new developments towards this? Thank you. Well, let me say this. Um, the self-financing drive uh, within our uh, African Union and on the continent, and the larger uh, uh, momentum for reform is irreversible. Uh, We're not going back. Uh, The last summit in Addis Ababa uh, had a very important part of the summit dedicated to the reform. Um, there was a, a meeting in closed door uh, of heads of state uh, that lasted about four hours. So the leaders had the opportunity to go through um, reluctances, to go through a clarification on some of the activities planned in the context of the reform. Um, and we have made tremendous progress um, what the last summit signaled in Addis Ababa is that um, a great majority of countries on the continent are ready to move. You should also understand that um, change does not happen easily and not overnight. We are um, uh, an organization of 55 countries and anybody who knows uh, change in organizations knows that not everybody moves at the same time. But the most important thing is that uh, a majority of African countries um, understands uh, the need for reform and is ready uh, to uh, drive that reform. Uh, You should also keep in mind that this reform was um, uh, put in place and requested by heads of state themselves who understand that our continent uh, needs badly uh, the change in terms of uh, working toward our independence financially uh, needs reform in terms of uh, prioritizing our activities. The African Union cannot do everything. Uh, we need reform in terms of uh, our relationship with the rest of the world, our partnerships. Uh, we need to get better organized at the level of the uh, Commission of the African Union uh, so um, 
by the time of the next summit, which is uh, this coming July in Nuakchot, Mauritania, we should see uh, quite uh, a number of uh, specific actions and uh, most definitely um, more countries that are implementing uh, the uh, levy uh, of 0.2% uh, that is meant to bring in more revenues to the African Union to effect its own, its own program. So in, in a nutshell, uh, the reform is on, it's irreversible, we're making progress with the understanding that some countries for different reasons are not going as fast as, as we would like to. My name is Eugene Nangwe and I work for KTN and Rwanda Television. Um, uh, Honorable Minister, first of all, there has not been a lot of good words said about Rwanda and France for quite some time. In the last are you sure? There, uh, as far as the relations are concerned, in line with the history of this country. And over the past few weeks, there's some things that have been happening. We've seen the former president coming to Rwanda. There's also one that there's a possibility that the president of France will be in Rwanda sometime in April, which I would like you to either confirm or deny. Uh, and just let us know what could be happening as far as relations are concerned uh, in this line. Uh, then, Mumbabadi, I have another very short question. Uh, there's a follow-up on the Ugandan Rwanda issue. Mm. Uh, the opposition leader in Uganda, Kiza Besija, a few days ago, did mention that the changes in the security structure of Uganda, especially the moving of the Inspector General Police, was highly due to the strained relations between Rwanda and Uganda. I'd like to hear your take mm. on this statement. Mm. Thank you. Uh, let me begin with the second question. It is uh, not in our political habits to get uh, caught up in internal politics of other countries. Um, on the uh, Rwanda-France relationship, um, there's been some level of overture from the uh, new administration in France. Uh, President Macron has um, uh, signaled that he would like to work on the relationship. Um, he had the opportunity to meet with uh, um, the President of the Republic of Rwanda last September in the margins of the United Nations General Assembly. Um, before that, uh, we had received here at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, a group of uh, officials from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Presidency of France. Um, uh, also, uh, just three days ago, the uh, President Macron then uh, also met with the President of Rwanda in the margins of the um, International Solar Alliance meeting in New Delhi. So um, I would say that uh, there is a welcome, um, uh, first of all, attitude, but also what we see as a willingness to, to improve relations. Rwanda has always been willing and open and ready to, to work with France on, on better terms. The only disagreement we had uh, with the uh, various leaders in France since the genocide was that um, uh, those leaders back then, and some of them are still actually in the system, in the political system in France, want the relationship between Rwanda and France to improve um, with Rwanda keeping quiet on the role of a number of officials, including military officers, in the genocide. And that is something that will not happen. Uh, countries cannot uh, uh, get along by uh, burying uh, what I think is a very important part of the history of this country. So that's where the disagreement has always been. And there's been, as you know, a lot of uh, attempts to cover up, to uh, engage in genocide denial, to sabotage even some of the uh, important um, parts of the politics of this country. Um, all that has not succeeded, and I think it's because uh, it's difficult to bury the truth. And so we, we welcome the, uh, the new administration's uh, openness and willingness to 
um, improve relations. But of course, uh, what has divided our country is something as grave and serious as genocide. And therefore, it's not going to be easy, but um, uh, there is no harm in trying to get um, uh, a better uh, relationship between our two countries. Je m'appelle André Gafoya, j'écris pour le journal Ibrahla Kepto et Rwanda News Agency. Et récemment, 44, 44 ministres du commerce africain ont participé à une réunion dans le cadre d'arriver à un accord sur le, la zone de libre échange économique du mm. marché commun africain. Mm. Et, mais au regard de leur discussion, il ressort que et certains ne sont pas convaincus que les chefs d'État viendraient parce que le texte n'était pas finalement finalisé. Alors, maintenant, on a fini le texte et on veut le présenter au ministre, des Affaires, euh, au ministre de, de la Justice. Mm -hmm. Ensuite, à vous, les ministres des Affaires étrangères, et qui est la dernière étape qui constitue le comité exécutif mm -hmm. d'un chef d'État. C'est ça. Au regard de ce que vous avez constaté et, et, des, et des présidents qui viendront. Combien de présidents sont prêts à venir à ce sommet extraordinaire et combien sont prêts déjà à signer Et une autre petite question, euh, il y a un livre sur la France au Rwanda qui va sortir en ce mois de mars. Les crimes de la France au Rwanda pendant le génocide, écrit par un pilote qui a participé à l'opération au Rwanda. Et êtes-vous au courant de ce livre et Quelle implication dans, dans l'amélioration des relations entre la France et le Rwanda peut avoir cet ouvrage. Je vous remercie. Merci beaucoup. Je commence par votre deuxième question. Le livre dont vous parlez, qui va paraître bientôt en France, « Les crimes de la France au Rwanda », nous sommes bien au courant de la publication prochaine de ce livre. L'implication ne peut être que bonne puisque euh, tout ce qui constitue à la restitution de la vérité est important pour euh, les relations entre nos deux pays, euh, surtout euh, de mon point de vue, puisque c'est une vérité qui vient du côté français. Et, et donc, pour moi, les relations euh, seront bonnes si on peut se dire la vérité. Et effectivement, euh, la sortie de ce livre, à notre avis, constitue euh, une partie du chemin euh, qui devra être parcouru même avec euh, l'assainissement des relations euh, ça ne peut pas euh, l'assainissement des relations ne peut pas se faire au détriment de la vérité donc euh, pour, pour moi c'est une très bonne chose plus on écrit, plus on parle plus on on, 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 on pousse euh, vers euh, la compréhension mutuelle Maintenant, concernant la, le sommet euh, qui se tient à Kigali euh, le 21 mars prochain, donc dans, dans une petite semaine, euh, sur euh, euh, un sommet extraordinaire qui a été décidé lors du sommet ordinaire euh, fin janvier à Addis Abeba sur euh, euh, la, li, la zone de libre échange continental, euh, il n'y a aucun doute qu'il y aura assez de signatures pour que ce, ce, cette zone, ce marché commun africain puisse avoir le jour, il n'y a aucun doute. Comme je le disais tout à l'heure, quand vous avez 55 pays, ce n'est pas une question de claquer le doigt et, et tout le monde est d'accord. Donc il y a des pays qui ont effectivement, notamment des pays comme l'Afrique du Sud, quelques pays de l'Afrique du Nord, qui ont d'autres accords commerciaux avec d'autres parties du monde et qui, évidemment, euh, prennent un peu plus de temps pour être sûr euh, de préserver les autres accords que, que les pays, euh, sur lesquels, avec lesquels les pays se sont engagés. Il y a aussi certains pays qui ont des procédures nationales, internes, euh, juridiques, euh, d'ordre juridique, qui font qu'il euh, y a encore quelques hésitations. Mais encore une fois, comme pour la réforme elle-même, euh, ce marché commun africain est irréversible. C'est pour ça que ce sommet a été décidé euh, lors du, 
de la rencontre des chefs d'État à Addis Abeba. Effectivement, on a eu 44 ministres du commerce qui se sont rencontrés ici à Kigali. Nous sommes maintenant à l'étape des juristes qui vont passer ces documents en revue pour ensuite les passer à nous, les ministres des Affaires étrangères, et nous-mêmes, nous les passons au chef d'État. Donc, la cérémonie de signature est prévue le 21, à la mi-journée. Euh, et euh, je, je pense que c'est un signe très fort, euh, ce sommet qui marque vraiment le début d'un marché commun africain. Ça fait plusieurs années euh, qu'on essaye, je crois depuis 2012 déjà, euh, les documents étaient en élaboration. Et donc, je crois que ce sommet aussi et, et ce marché commun africain signale euh, cette époque et c'est ce, peut-être un signe des temps euh, que cette intégration africaine dont on parle depuis longtemps finalement commence à voir le jour. Et, et quant au chef d'État, euh, je peux vous assurer, puisque... Le ministère que je dirige est le ministère qui s'occupe de l'accueil des chefs d'État. Nous attendons euh, déjà plus de 26 chefs d'État confirmés, euh, euh, 5, 6 euh, vice-présidents et premiers ministres et d'autres délégués représentant les chefs d'État. Donc euh, nous sommes prêts pour le sommet. Dufite inama y’abakuru b’ibihugu idasanzwe izabera hano i Kigali ku itariki ya makumyabiri na rimwe ndetse ikazabanzirizwa n’inama y’abashoramari n’abacuruzi bo mu bihugu bya Afrika aho bazagira n’ibiganiro bitandukanye ndetse birimo na bamwe mu bakuru b’ibihugu ku itariki ya makumyabiri umunsi ubanziriza iyo nama y’abakuru b’ibihugu Iyo nama rero ikaba igamije kwemeza no gushyiraho bijyanye na nama no gushyira umukono ku kumpapuro zibyemeza bikozwe n'abakuru b'ibihugu ku isoko ryaguye ry'umugabane wa Afrika rituma tubasha guhahirana hagati yacu dukuraho zimwe mu nzitizi zituma ibihugu bya Afrika bitabasha guhahirana mu buryo mu buryo twifuza buhagije ni inama rero ikomeye cyane ifite akamaro kuko hashize imyaka myinshi twifuza yuko Afrika ibihugu bya Afrika bifungura imipaka kugira ngo abanyafrika tubashe guhahirana ari ni ni binumvikana ko ari igice gikomeye cyo guteza imbere ibihugu byacu iyo nama rero yateguwe kugeza ubu mu cyumweru kimwe niho inama izatangira Uh, tukaba twiteguye abakuru b'ibihugu bamaze uh, kwemeza ko bazaza barenze 2026 uh, ndetse na na ba vice president ba premier ministre uh, bahagarariye ibihugu byabo nabandi bayobozi mu nzego zitandukanye uh, iri soko rero rya Afrika rihuza ibihugu byose bya Afrika tukaba tuzi neza nta kibuza yuko uh, Dizashirwa mu bikorwa kuri makumyabiri na rimwe z’uku kwezi hano i Kigali ni ikintu gishimishije cyane ndetse nkuko nabivuze kigaragaza ko guhuza ibihugu byacu integration bigiye bigaragara mu bikorwa bikomeye cyane ndetse no mu nama yabereye Addis Abeba y’abakuru b’ibihugu mu mpera z’ukwezi kwa mbere hakaba haratangijwe icyo nakwita isoko yo ry'ikirere uh, uh, air transport market by'umugabo ne hose wa Afrika uh, nabyo akaba ari ibikorwa byiza cyane ndetse mu mikorere ya imuryango wa Afrika wunze ubumwe hakaba hari abakuru b'ibihugu bafite inshingano zihariye zo gukurekiranira hafi byo bikorwa ibi bijyanye n'isoko ryaguye bya Afrika akaba uh, ari igikorwa gikuriwe na president Um, isufu w'igihugu cya Niger utegerejwe uh, hano i Kigali mu minsi mike uh, ibijyanye n'iri soko ry'ikirere twifuza gusangira ikirere cya Afrika kugira ngo indege zacu ndetse n'izahandi zibashe uh, gutanga 
gutwara abantu n'ibintu mu buryo bworoshye akaba ari igikorwa gikuriwe na president w'igihugu cya Togo nkuko nyakwa president wa Republika y'u Rwanda nawe akuriye um, ibijyanye um, na, no, na reform uh, y'umugabane wacu murabonere ko abakuru b'igihugu b'ibihugu bagiye bagabana inshingano zituma ibi bikorwa bikomeye birushaho gutera imbere kindi navuga nuko uh, kuba tuye hano mu mujyi wa Kigali n'abanyarwanda muri rusange nkuko uh, bisanzwe n'umuco mwiza abanyarwanda bafite tubasaba kwihangana kuko inama zirimwe abakuru b'ibihugu bangana gutyo zisaba uh, umutekano no kwita ku bashyitsi imwe na rimwe bitorohe abatuye mu mujyi uh, kuvejo uh, dukoranye no mujyi wa Kigali ndetse n'inzego z'umutekano tuzatangira uh, kubaha makuru ahagije kubijyanye nifungwa ry'imihanda uh, ndetse na za gahunda zizo nama kugira ngo abantu babashe gupanga neza gahunda zabo batuye hano mu mujyi wa Kigali turongera no kubashimira ko no mu nama y'abakuru bihugu yabaye hano hashize uh, umwaka hafi n'igice mwagaragaje uh, bagaragaje cyane ubwitonzi no kwakirana abashyitsi kwihangana kuko niko bimeze abayobozi bakuru iyo bahuye hazamo kugerageza kubafata neza kubarebera umutekano bigatuma rero abatuye mu mugi rimwe na rimwe bibagora muri gahunda zabo tukaba rero twifuza gukora ibishoka byose nk'ubuyobozi bw'igihugu kugira ngo abatuye hano mu mugi wa Kigali uh, be kugira ibibazo byinshi ariko muka mukana twihanganira tukanishimira yuko umugi wacu wa Kigali ubaba wahawe icyubahiro nk'icyo cyo kwakira abakuru b'ibihugu hirya no hino baturutse hirya no hino muri Afrika inama ubundi yagomba kubera mu gihe cy'u Niger uh, ari naho president w'igihugu cy'u Niger akuriye iki gikorwa gikomeye kisoko rya guye rya Afrika ariko mu nama ya yabakuru b'ibihugu wa Disabe ba mu kwezi kwa mbere gushira uh, basaba president wa Republika n'u Rwanda ku inama yazanwa hano ikigali tumaze iminsi rero twitegura muri aya mezi abiri n'igice uh, ibintu byinshi bimaze kujya ku murongo tukaba rero tu, twakwishimira yuko tuko tuzakira aba bashyitsi ariko nibikorwa bisanzwe mu mujyi wacu bigakomeza murakoze Thank you very much. My name is Colin Tumoy. I write for the Nikan Daily. Um, on Burundi, on, um, on refugees, uh, we have had uh, protest by, by refugees yeah, in some parts of the country, largely due to allowance cuts. However, at the same time, we can see that we are still accepting more, 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 mm -hmm. more refugees with the sure. visitors from Burundi. Uh, so how does the government plan to be able to host and accommodate the influx of refugees amidst, uh, amidst the, 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 the cuts in allowances and, uh, and during a straight budget? Mm -hmm. And as a clarification, uh, what is the government's last point or final say on our goal, uh, considering that we have, the region have been given a deadline uh, mm -hmm. by the American government to either consider reviewing um, our stance on, on our goal? And what was the main negotiation a point of the American government. Did, did, did they want an extension of the term or, or, or an entire repeal of, uh, of, of the second hand clothes? Thank you. Mm -hmm. On, on um, AGO and the uh, second hand clothing, um, we have been in um, uh, talks and negotiations with the uh, uh, trade representative in the United States for, for the last one year. Uh, we haven't concluded uh, yet uh, to respond to your question. Uh, we in East Africa, EAC countries and uh, my own country in particular, feel that um, uh, there is a way to um, fulfill the requirements of AGOA and at the same time grow our uh, uh, apparel industry. There is no contradiction. Um, you will Recall that, um, um, you know, AGOA is a uh, unilateral agreement 
Uh, it was proposed by the United States to various uh, countries in Africa. Um, things obviously in terms of trade and, and growing our economies have changed uh, since AGOA. So we believe there is room to reach an understanding on um, you know, being able to uh, favor and grow our industry uh, in terms of clothing and at the same time not uh, break any kind of rule or, or agreement. Um, so, you know, we, we haven't uh, concluded yet, but uh, as, as East Africa, we feel that uh, we should not be penalized by an agreement um, that we have reached uh, with the United States. Uh, we should be able to, to make a case for why we want to uh, raise uh, tariffs on, on second-hand clothing and at the same time be able to, to grow our industry and, and create jobs. So the, the, the discussion continues. Um, on refugees, uh, let me first say this. Um, any refugee situation is complicated because refugees by nature are people running away from their countries. Uh, so there's always a, a complication in receiving people who are running away from uh, their countries. Again, as I mentioned earlier on the uh, migrants from uh, Israel, uh, our country's policy is set in very deep and strong values of um, uh, openness to uh, people in trouble. We have a history of refugees in our own country for many, many years, and we feel that if we can be of help, we will try and help. So uh, indeed, uh, the uh, revolt in the refugee camp in uh, Karonji uh, was a very unfortunate, very, very unfortunate uh, occurrence. Um, what is the heart of the matter is that these refugees from, from the DRC have lived in Rwanda for more than 22 years. And, you know, at the same time, um, you will also recall that uh, the government of Rwanda offered back in the mid-2000s um, the opportunity for those who are willing, who, for those who wish to, uh, to acquire the citizenship and, and be integrated in the country. Many declined because they felt they should go back to their country, which is a very normal thing. But after so many years now, it's difficult to know from what we see whether they're refugees or they're nationals. Um, so we, we've had cases, which is uh, at the heart of the revolt in the refugee camp, of individuals who actually have applied for a national identity, national Rwandan identity and want to go back and request a refugee card, um, and at the same time want to go home to the DRC. So basically you have individuals who want to be three things at the same time. They want to be Congolese, they want to be Rwandese, and they want to be refugees. And that is not possible. So that's really the heart of the matter in the, in the revolt. There is a group uh, that is, um, I should say, leading the revolt is, is mostly from individuals who wanted to be resettled in Western countries. Uh, but at the same time, we realized through our national ID process that they had requested national IDs. So, you know, that, that is really uh, the problem. And, and it's, it's not um, something that's easy. Some of them are very young. Uh, they're young and, 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 uh, and the revolt actually has to do with the fact that uh, some of them became extremely violent, uh, extremely violent, uh, attacking the law enforcement agents, uh, trying to hold hostages. And our law enforcement agency was not prepared for that kind of violence. Uh, but the, the reduction in the um, money 
uh, that is uh, meant for food and rations and so forth is only a small part of it because that applies to the 170 plus thousand refugees that are in this country. But for that particular group, I think it's a question of um, more of an identity crisis and, and difficulty to choose. Uh, but you know, it, it's, that's why I was saying it's complex. It's something we have to deal with, we have to engage, we have to talk to them. Anybody who wants to return home, willingly, we're happy to uh, organize and, and support. But if one wants to go home, then one has to go home. Uh, one cannot go home to a foreign country with a Rwandan national ID, uh, let alone to, at the same time, want to be resettled in the United States or Europe and so forth. So that, that is really what the problem is. Now, uh, as you know, uh, 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 last week we uh, were surprised by a large group of refugees, Burundian refugees coming from the DRC in the Rusizi area. Um, what would you do if you were uh, the leadership of this country? You cannot turn away people who are running away. Uh, they arrived uh, late in the day, uh, about 2,500 plus. We just had to keep our border open and, and try and let them in. And uh, we have a difficulty with that group as well uh, because we found out uh, this is a group with some should I say strange religious beliefs, a group that um, does not believe in being registered, uh, that does not believe in anything technology, therefore we cannot get uh, biometric uh, registration. How do you enter somebody's country without being known, without wanting to be known? Um, these, these are individuals um, in this group who don't believe in uh, um, uh, health services that don't believe in their children being vaccinated. How does a country uh, allow people to come in perhaps with some contagious um, illnesses? Uh, these are pr practices, but it's also the law of this country. Uh, and so we, we are still trying to figure out how to deal with that group as well. So this, these are very complex issues, but uh, it does not take away the fact that as a country, we are very open and we are trying to help our neighbors. Um, however, it's also clear that if you cannot um, go by the law of this country, it will be very difficult for anybody to stay in this country. <laughs> East Africa, you know, we just East Africa. We need to understand how we are no him with you are actually good with you, you know, go for the cup of Kuru Amuro, Yahi Homonis, the Munya Kamichi. Um, Nuvana, we come on home, Mukanya. no go who is the who go no uh, niyo hari igihugu gitangiye kugenda buhoro cyangwa se umuyobozi runaka udakiramo ingufu zihagije uh, ugera hugasanga mu byukuri abaturage b'igihugu cyawe ari bo babihomberamo uh, icyakorwa rero ndumva ari ukumenya neza yuko iyo umuntu atinza uh, ibikorwa bifitiye akamaro ntabwo ari ibihugu by'abaturanyi gusa ariko nini n'abaturage muri ibyo bihugu Munajira ho wenda gakangu kaka wuna yuko arivi nu byangombwa ikigaragara nuko ibikorwa byinshi twagiye dukorana dufatanije twishyize hamwe nk'umuryango wa East African Community byagiye bigira akamaro cyane na navuga ko nubwo bigaragara ko hari byagiye bigenda buhoro bika ntibyihute nko twabyifuzaga hari nibindi bikorwa bigenda neza 
ndetse ndumva mwarakurikiye ko ministri w'ikorwa remezo w'igihugu cy'a Tanzania avuye hano hashize iminsi ibiri kubonana na bagenzi be hano mu gihugu kugira ngo bakomeze kunoza kumva kimwe ndetse no gushaka uburyo twashyira mu bikorwa icyemezo cy'abakuru b'ibihugu cyo kwihutisha umuhanda wa gari ya Moshi turuka Isaka mu gihugu cy'a Tanzania yagera hano Kigali hari bigenda buhoro akenshi navuga ko biterwa n'ubushake bwa politiki budahagije ariko ntago bivuga yuko ibikorwa byangombwa cyangwa se n'impamvu uyu muryango wacu wa Afrika y'uburasirazuba uriho byaba byarahindutse navuga yuko biterwa na nibintu bisanzwe dukunze kubona mu bijyanye na integration guhuza imikorere nk'ibihugu ntago ntago buri gihe abari ibintu byoroshye ariko ntago navuga yuko ibikorwa bikomeye by'uyu muryango wacu byasinziriye Burundi ni nkuko umuntu asinzira ariko ejo mu gitondo gakanguka Ikiambere na vuga nuko na vifuze muri midgui chongeleza Ibibazo bji mhunzi na vuga nuko kuja mwidu kangu gure Kisha kuguru chiza ni murugo vishira ho ni vivazo viko mecha ane kuko Imhunzi uri ya zijana na politike ziri mwoni vihugu bjavo Ndece muko na visowa anwe chivazo jifatika chigara gara chate ye Kui gara gamja kwa ziri ya mhunzi zawa nye kongo wali muri karonji Icha mbere nuko ni mwuzi zimazi miaka mnyinchi. Miaka kirenga makumia bili nibiri. Nizi suwi wabo. Nizi baye. Aba nyarugwanda. Kukurugwanda. Rujeze gutanga ayo mahirugwe kubabjifuza. Ko baba aba nyarugwanda. Wakabahunga aba nyarugwanda. Aba nchi barabjanga. Kukurujo bugumvi kana. Nibi nubjumvi kana. Kukumu mbaga waza suwi wabo. Ariko rero. Niba suwi wabo. Niba baya aba nyarugwanda. Ndetse wakawa wani fuza Chivazo cha agara gaye Hari ya uretsi vje kufuga ngo Uri ya muri jango Ushinzgi mhunzi Waroni Kwa wawa gawa nirije Ndiyo kuruja Choni chivazo Chiri rusanje Chiri ya mhunzi zose Na hagorero Mubji kuru ya alichwa chivazo jikomeye Ni chivazo aliko nago Ali chivazo cha tuma Mhunzi zi gara gamja Kuriburi ya uri jo ndetse hakaza mwona mahana komeye harimo no ku no gutera na naba shinzwe kubarinda ikibazo gikomeye nuko nyuma y'imyaka myinshi bamwe abenshi muri ziri ampunzi barashaka kuba abanyarwanda kuko harabasabye indanga muntu y'u Rwanda bagashaka no kuba abanyekongo kuko bavuga ko bashaka gusubira iwabo ukayoberwa rero noneho bagashaka no kujya gutuzwa mu mahanga mu bihugu cyane cyane mu bihugu by'uburayi na America urumva rero nta muntu wabi bintu bitatu byose hamwe no guhitamo guhitamo rero byarabagoye ndetse abo wabonaga mu mwiperereza tugikomeza gukora abatumye bagumura nabandi ndetse bari bafite amahane menshi ugasanga na bigeze gushaka kubona ikarita y'ubuhunzi ariko tukoresheje ikorana buhanga ry'indanga muntu mu Rwanda tugasanga bafite n'indanga muntu y'u Rwanda kwibaza ukuntu ufite indanga muntu y'u Rwanda ari kurashaka no kuba impunzi kugira ngo ubashe kuzajya mu bindi bihugu nabyo ntago bihugu byo hanza ntago bigikunda impunzi cyane ugasanga rero amahitamo yarabagoye kumenya icyo bifuza Niyo mamu na mga kwa alibi nubitoroshe, kenchi lero, chaga raga eno muriri ya ngambi nuko harimo, ba mwe muri wo chane chane, ba sore ba chiribato, 
usanga bafite amahane menshi impunzi rero ubundi nta kibazo twebwe mu Rwanda twagirana nazo zibashije kubahiriza amategeko y'igihugu niko bigenda niko bigenda hose kuri izi impunzi rero zaturutse Burundi ejo bundi muri iki cyumwe rugishize nazo ni impunzi ziteye ibibazo kuko zifite imyumvire navuga ko idasanzwe yo kutemera kubara kubarurwa hakoreshejwe ikorana buhanga kandi nibwo buryo dufite bwo ku bwo kwandikisha impunzi ntabwo zemera mu myemerere yabo ntabwo bemera ubuvuzi busanzwe mu gihugu gukingira abana nti babyemera ntabwo rero mu gihugu waza nabantu kabatuza hamwe n'abanyarwanda bashora ko bafite indwara zandura badashaka kwivuza bafite iyo myemerere y'idini tutumva neza ubu nabo turakora uko dushoboye tubaganirize tubavugishe turebe yuko bakwemera kubaho nk'abandi banyarwanda basanzwe ariko ikigaragara nuko nta gihugu cyakwemera kuzana abantu taza bari bo badashaka kwivuga badashaka kwiyandikisha badashaka kwivuza ibyo ntago byashoboka bivuga ko bya tugora cyane nk'igihugu ku kuko inshingano zacu za mbere nuku nukureba umutekano n'ubuzima bw'abanyarwanda nubwo mu mu navuga ko ari mu mico yacu ndetse ari mu ndanga gaciro zacu amarembo y'igihugu arafunguye ku bantu bose bafite ibibazo nk'impunzi ni kibazo rero kitoroshye kidashobora kumvikana mu buryo bwihuta umuntu atabanje kureba neza ibibazo bihari kuvuga rero yuko byagira ingaruka ku izindi impunzi ari za Libya cyangwa ari izituruka handi urwanda ntabwo rurimo gusabiriza impunzi niziza tuzazakira nizitaza nabyo ntacyo bidutwaye dufite abaturage bacu bo kurebera My name is Mark Masmazimaka, Chief Editor Tariqa. Uh, my question is uh, regarding the chairmanship of the AU. Um, I'd like to understand something that uh, I've been trying to figure out but I couldn't understand. Are there squared interests uh, that we have as a country mm -hmm. while the president is the chairman, uh, chairperson of the AU mm -hmm. that uh, are square, particularly for one and not global as a continent. And uh, are we seeing us putting in the resources that we actually benefit mm -hmm. from those particular interests? And um, I wanted to know also, who, earlier they mentioned about uh, troubles and difficulties in achieving the desired goals. Mm -hmm. um, is there known sabotage? in the local, regional, or beyond, mm. that uh, the chairman uh, is uh, struggling to deal with, that we should know about, and what should be done? Mm. Well, you know, f first of all, in any um, process of integration, there are going to be difficulties, because you are dealing with um, a number of a large number of countries with various interests, um, and to reach a good level of integration, countries have to give up a little bit of their sovereignty. Uh, there is also a real fact that when change comes, um, people tend to not want to embrace change until they feel comfortable, and that could take time. Uh, but that is only um, normal in any integration process. Um, so don't be, uh, don't be, uh, should I say, don't be alarmed by uh, the, the heated debates and the reluctance by a few countries out of 55 it's only a normal thing to happen when you are trying to reach understanding as a large group of people. Um, change is not uh, something that comes very easy uh, because of interest, because of you know, lack of understanding sometimes. Um, and so what I said is that the change that 
is wanted on this continent is irreversible at this point. We have reached a point where we can only go forward and in the process deal with um, making some of the countries that are not comfortable yet comfortable enough. Uh, but in this particular case, the, we are comforted by the fact that a great majority of countries are on board. Uh, the few that are still slow or reluctant, uh, they'll, they'll come along. Uh, there is no question that um, the, you know, our continent wants to be independent, not just with uh, flags and national anthems. We also want to be independent financially. We have what it takes as a continent. So if we, if we want to be independent, some things have to change. Uh, otherwise, it means we do not want to be independent and we want to depend on uh, the, the uh, partners and, and donors and, and so forth. What we wish to see happen is a very good partnership with our uh, traditional partners and donors and you know, the, the new ones coming on board, but primarily the change, the heart of the change in Africa has to do with um, trying to reach self-reliance. There is no explanation whatsoever that 80% of activities in the African Union should be paid by somebody else other than us. Uh, Africa does not lack resources, uh, including human resources, and it's only a normal thing. But again, reform, change, anything new sometimes is not embraced at the same uh, pace and the same level. What is the interest of Rwanda in um, an, an integrated and, and, and independent Africa? Uh, the gains are very obvious. Um, we share a lot as African countries. We share history. Uh, we share some of the current burdens. We also share um, uh, our part and our contribution as a continent to uh, what is happening globally. Uh, so there is no country, no, no country is an island. And particularly for Africa, we gain so much by working together. Um, you can imagine, uh, for example, for this uh, upcoming summit, um, having a, a continental free trade area is a very big deal. Uh, we as a country, Rwanda, gain a lot in, in terms of uh, trade, in terms of uh, tourism, um, in terms of investment. And so everybody gains in this. And, and Rwanda, of course, has its own share uh, of, of benefit in an integrated uh, Africa. There is no question about it. Um, you know, our economies will benefit. Uh, the, the statistics are there. And, you know, it's better for our country and other countries to face some of the important challenges uh, on the continent and globally together. Um, it's not conceivable that one country, for example, could fight terrorism alone. It's not possible. It's not conceivable that um, uh, one country could be self-sufficient without trading with the neighbors. And so by allowing trade to be made easy, easier, is, is a gain for, for each one of us. So it, it's obvious. As for the chairmanship of the president, uh, it's part of uh, how the organization is set up. The African Union has rotating chairmanships. Um, we are, and our president is, a very pan-African um, uh, country and, and leader. And so we're very happy, we're very pleased that things have started moving. And I think not just our citizens, but many, many citizens on the continent are going to benefit. Thank you.